What's up guys, this is Luke from AndroidCrate.com and this is a review of the Taptronics M009S tablet. It is a 7 inch Android tablet, I got it from Amazon for £80, I'll try to provide a US link in the description. So first let's do an overview of the specs and the hardware. So as you can see you have a VGA front facing camera, you have three capacitive buttons over here, you have a, a charging port, micro USB port, HDMI out, microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Up here you got your uh, power and lock button and your volume up and down rocker. And here you got your micro SD card slot. So now let's get to the specs. It's got a 1.2 GHz single core processor with 400 MHz of dedicated graphics on top. It's got a gig of RAM with 8, 8 GB of internal storage. There's also a 16 GB model available but you can use a micro SD card to even it out. Uh, it's got a 4000 mAh battery and uh, that's about it. It's running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich also which is great. Uh, it's it's the latest. It's basically the latest uh, mass produced version of of uh, Android so far. So let's check it out. So first, we're just going to settings just to show you that this is indeed running Ice Cream Sandwich. As you can see, it's running Android 4.0.3, which is Ice Cream Sandwich. And let's go over some of the first features of Ice Cream Sandwich, the smaller features of Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, let's go into multi multitasking, and you can you have all your array of open apps so far, and you can swipe them off just to close the apps. And swiping is a big part of Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll get to that later in other apps such as the browser. So now Android has a kind of a, kind of an updated uh, voice search feature. So let's go on to voice search. Google.com. See, it works pretty well. Of course, you know, saying Google might be uh, an easy thing for it to to see, but uh, it's actually it works pretty pretty well. Uh, so. You'll, so in the app drawer, uh, uh, for ice cream sandwich has been completely redesigned. If you, uh, there's like nice, uh, there's nice transitions here, and if you keep scrolling, you can go over to the widgets section. So, uh, plenty of widgets here. Google have really outdone themselves with the widgets again, and you can just tap and hold to put it on your home screen. There's no room in this home screen, so you can just go to the next home screen. So, f so let's go to the browser. Uh, the browser has been uh, kind of optimized for ice cream sandwich, and now it's the uh, the UI has been updated and there's some new features added. So let's go to open tabs. So here we have uh, AndroidCrate.com open. Uh, sorry if the Wi-Fi is a bit slow. It's uh, I don't have the best Wi-Fi here at the moment. So here we have uh, AndroidCrate.com open. Uh, you can see that the scrolling is relatively smooth. Pinch to zoom. So it depends. It really, sometimes pinch to zoom is very yeah. Pinch to zoom is pretty good on it. Uh, so it handles pretty well. There's no uh, checkerboard pattern. But what's pretty cool about this browser is that if you open up your open tabs, again, this is where swiping comes into play. Just wipe away your tabs, close them. So yes, the browser looks pretty well. Another app that has been updated for ice, for ice cream sandwich is YouTube. Now YouTube has, I was not a big fan of YouTube in the past on Gingerbread. Uh, you, you'd think YouTube would be good because Google owns YouTube and Google makes Android. But they finally hit, hit the nail on the head and uh, they've made it look like actual YouTube. So if you if you go onto the YouTube homepage here in the app, you can swipe to the right and you can see all your, your subscriptions. You go here, you can see uh, all the videos from Android Authority, for example. And it just works very, very well. Uh, if I go into the video here to show you as an example. I can turn it. It works very well. And what's I, what I actually like about this Android, uh, what the, about about this uh, YouTube app is it's a small feature, but it actually is very noticeable that you don't uh, to go into to view the comments. You don't have to put it portrait. There's actually a separate button here because in the past I used to uh, I used to turn it to portrait by accident just by tilting the phone a small bit. But uh, now they have a separate button for it, which uh, avoids a lot of annoyance, which is great. One of the main reasons why you buy a tablet is for gaming. And, they, and the Tabtronics m 0 s handles gaming very, very well. It's handled almost everything I've thrown at it. So let's view games, starting with uh, Angry Birds. Uh, I have an Angry Birds folder here. So we have Angry Birds open here. And it, run, it runs very smooth due to that 400 megahertz of dedicated graphics on top. Screen isn't bad either. Uh, I, thought, I thought the screen would be very uh, pixely because of the price, but it actually doesn't let you down at all, really. So as you can see here, you can pinch to zoom, uh, zoom out, and you can see it runs very, very smooth. That's the 400 megahertz of uh, dedicated graphics doing its work there. Works very well. Next game I'll check out is uh, Temple Run. So here's Temple Run. Sorry in advance, I'm not that good at Temple Run. So 
as you can see it does run very smoothly again it's, uh, Temperon is a graphic in it's a pretty graphic intensive game so yeah I'm pretty bad at that let's do one more game uh, Fruit Ninja another very popular game in the Android world so here is uh, Fruit Ninja one of my favorite games in Android You can see that does run very smoothly as well. I haven't had any problems with games so far. This is definitely one of the departments where the M009S excels at gaming. I got about three to four hours of battery life from moderate to heavy usage. I have about three email accounts in there, so that does use up a lot of battery. Uh, when I use the battery saver, I got about an hour extra of battery. Now here's my conclusion. Overall, the Tatronics M009S provided me with a pretty smooth experience, and I'll nearly everything I chewed at it with ease. It is definitely worth the money, whether you are a first user of Android or a tech savvy person like me, it does everything you could ask for from an Android tablet. If you are in the market for a budget tablet, you should definitely check out one of these. Thanks for watching guys, check out AndroidCreate.com for the latest Android news and reviews. Thanks.